Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to remove this girl from the background. The reason is because a friend of mine asked me how can we select hairs inside Photoshop. Okay then, no problem. Uh, here I am to explain that. Well, there are many options. I'm going to show you two very cool options. So, the first option is we go to the channels and we try to get the channel that gives us more contrast. In this case will be the blue, so we duplicate the channel and now we just go into image, adjustments and levels. And what we want is to bring to get more blacks into the scene. So I'm just going like so. Let me take a look at it. A bit more. Something like so. I don't want to overdo it, and I think it's about right. Now we just grab our brush, normal brush, and uh, we select overlay. And now painting in black, with black, I'm just going to start painting, painting her face like so, and the body like so. And as you can see, I am painting just dark areas not the white can you see here the brush I'm clicking the mouse and nothing happens because it's in overlay mode so make sure you do select overlay mode you may get to one point that sometimes like here I can show you here I'm in overlay and there's still that white dot so obviously I need to go to normal one click and it's done Another click right here and it's there you go another one right here bit here let's change it again to overlay so I can get a bit more and like so there we go and this works really well with channels it works really well however there are some cool new features in Photoshop in this case CS5 that do help a lot uh, selecting hair and the person so now I just flipped colors uh, so now I'm painting in white and I want to get rid of some of the white the black that went just over it so there we go I'm going to flip pressing letter X like so and I can see in here we have a bit of a problem so I'm just going to reduce set of my brush reducing using the left bracket key and I'm going to just flip the colors with X and just try to get rid of this in here as well so back to normal one click, oops, brush is too soft, so let's make it harder. So, like so, and you get the idea. Okie dokie, it's nearly there. Okay, it's pretty cool. So, what I'm going to do is right here on the thumbnail of the mask I'm going to hold control or command on the Mac and just click once and loads the luminosity of the layer in this case it will be the white so if I'll click I've got a duplicate of the layer already if I'll click on add a layer mask as you can see just got rid of the girl however we can I'm going to undo that we can invert this selection coming right here into select inverse or shift control I or you can add the layer mask and then invert the mask itself command I or control I and then or you can come into image adjustments and invert and as you can see it just inverted again and as you can see it's pretty cool it's not too bad the selection However, 
there's always there's a bit there's always something so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer I'm going just over this thumbnail of the layer mask and I'm going to hit control or command on my Mac what I want to do is I want to grab a paintbrush painting in normal and I want to select a bit of color of her hair like so and I'm going to change the flow to something like around 13% that's fine I was going to for about 10 but this will do and I'm just going to grab a brush and I'm just going to darken slightly this area or you can use the burn tool as well I'm going to leave this area right here without using the brush and I'm going to be using the burn tool so in that case I need to go back to this layer and use the burn tool exposure 12 percent highlights a bit of the highlights and I'm going to change it to the mid-tones and it's darkening just a bit and I'm going to deselect and as you can see it's not too bad I'm not focusing on the rest of the body by the way I'm just focusing on the hair because the body itself it's easy uh, but as you can see still not it's not bad but it's not perfect but we can do better than that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these layers and I'm going to duplicate the background layer and put it above this scene right here and now I'm going to use the quick selection tool so as you can see right here <coughs> excuse me so now I want a not too big brush so I'm just going to select this area like so and I'm going into the hair and that's it I'm not going to do nothing else what I'm going to do is refine edge and right here now we have sorry the girl is still it's only half of her but we'll get all of her body right here so now I'm taking the smart radius and I'm just going to bump it up it's just a touch so about 3.1 pixels now I'm just going to be brushing this area like so and as you can see it's coming along okay like this we've got a, this bit of hair right here so I'm just brushing so clicking and brushing clicking and brushing and it's pretty good it's pretty good so I'm going to just leave it as it is and I'm not going to change nothing else not even the output if you have it for other things make sure you use you get you select output to selection click OK OK and we're back to the photo so now with the quick selection selected make sure you've got the third icon right here on the top of the bar or if you have just the first one add shift to it but this way it makes it easier so I'm just going to get this like so and I'm just clicking and dragging not being fussy Photoshop is doing a great job and uh, sometimes what I advise is uh, to bump up the levels so you have more contrast in the photos using this technique but I'll show you in a second so right here I just want to uh, I've selected too much so I can come here uh, in the third option or I can hold ALT and that's what I'm doing I'm holding ALT and I'm getting this selection a bit tighter it's not too bad so now I've got this section right here reduce the size of the brush ALT and reduce a bit more and this should be okay cool and we've got this section right here as well so alt or option on a Mac and I think it's pretty 
pretty cool. Oh dear me, there's something missing. Air shoe. So I'm just selecting the shoe as well. Okay, that's fine. Now what we do? We go back into Refine Edge, and as you can see, the hair is still here. We didn't touch the hair. Uh, the selection itself it's not too bad so I'm just going to feather it by about one pixel about one pixel I'm going to contrast about 0.5 to give a bit more a bit better selection and uh, smooth it should be okay the smooth so <coughs> okay I can see we have a like here as you can see we have a bit of white and I'm going to leave that just to show you something really cool so I'm going to output first I'm going to actually contaminate the colors just here around 67 and got rid of this and uh, the output new layer mask new layer with layer mask so there you go we've got it However, there's always still a bit of white right here. So what we can do is very simple. We can come here into the layer. We right click on the layer, convert smart object. And then we can rasterize the layer. And now we come here right here to layer, matting. And we can differentiate by one pixel and just cleaned all this white I'm going to undo so this is before and after the difference and sometimes there's a bit of white oops this selection I forgot this bit in here but you get the idea anyway um, this uh, if you you get a bit of white in the hair or something go to layer matting and remove white matte and as you can see it made just a massive difference even though I forgot this area but as you can see where the problem is normally it's quite cool and then just add a bit of hair like paint it or just use dodge and, dodge and burn in this case burn tool to get be better. I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.